Here's a mixing trick that 16 time Grammy Award winner Jason Joshua uses to add 3D light depth, a wider stereo field, and greater instrument separation to his mixes. He has applied this technique in his work with Ariana Grande, Beyonce, The Weeknd, and Rihanna, to name a few. What is summing in both the analog and digital domains? And why should you care? Analog summing uses physical circuits to combine multiple audio signals into a single output. These circuits have headroom, allowing them to handle levels above zero decibels without clipping. This headroom creates a safe zone for transients, letting them come through without harshness and keeping the audio dynamic and open. Many engineers who mix in the box still run their final mix buses through an analog summing mixer to capture what they describe as a greater sense of space, depth, and separation between tracks. Digital summing combines multiple audio signals using math inside a door. It can handle sound up to zero decibels, but any signal above that will clip when summed because the software can't represent anything louder. Plugins like Waves NLS aim to mimic the sound of analog using a combination of harmonic distortion modeling, non-linearities, crosstalk simulation, and other algorithmic magic. For those of us who don't have a few thousand dollars to spare for a summing mixer, Jason Joshua has the next best thing. For this trick, you'll need Waves NLS, which is often on sale for $30, but keep watching for a zero-cost alternative. Load up eight instances of NLS. On each plugin, you can choose which engineer's console it's modeling. Dial in this pattern. Mic, spike, mic, mic, Mike, Spike, Nevo, Mike. Kind of like a PlayStation cheat code, right? If Joshua needs to reduce the chain's impact, he'll remove the second and sixth NLS plugins, which are both set to Spike. This technique originates from engineer Steve Hibiki, who sent Joshua this chain on a project. Joshua initially thought it was a mistake until he bypassed the chain and heard what it was adding. It has since become a permanent part of his Pro Tools template used on both his drum and bass buses. As well as getting all the benefits that digital summing emulations provide, Provide, Joshua describes this trick as adding a psychoacoustic low end that doesn't increase the signal's level but actually reduces it. This makes the low end sound heavier without taking up more volume, which is the holy grail in mixing. Notice how the kick is hitting at minus 10 decibels without the NLS chain. Once I engage the chain, the kick becomes quieter, yet it sounds weightier. For a zero cost alternative, I recommend the console series by Air Windows. Place a console channel plugin on each of your tracks after your effects, and then add a console bus plugin on your master channel. The more tracks you use console channel on, the more pronounced the effect will be. Like NLS, these plugins mimic the behavior of analog, giving your mix a greater sense of space, depth, and separation. For another mixing trick from Jason Joshua, check out this video on how he creates huge 808s. Thank you for watching.